Hi, I'm Catherine, and I'm the manager of school and educator programs at the Virginia Museum of Contemporary Art. Have you heard the word contemporary before? It just means new or now. Virginia Mocha shows the work of living artists, and we change the artwork in our galleries a few times each year so we can keep showing new things. One is called Shifting Gaze, the reconstruction of the Black and Hispanic body in contemporary art. The second is New Waves, our annual juried exhibition featuring contemporary artists across Virginia. The third is called There's No Place Like Here, showcasing the artwork of local artist Hampton Boyer. These three exhibitions are very different, representing artists from all over the globe telling many different stories. But one thing they have in common is that they're all trying to have a conversation. And by that, I mean a conversation involves multiple people, not just one person. These artworks want to converse with us, our society, and our collective histories. During the rest of our time together, I'm going to show you a few pieces of artwork from these exhibitions, tell you some information about them, and give you some questions to think about as you consider how to respond to the conversation. Then I'll give you some instructions for our art making activity that you can do at home. It incorporates some of the themes and elements of the artwork that we're gonna look at. So let's get started. Our first piece is Ebony Patterson's tapestry, He. Ebony is from Jamaica. Her artwork honors and memorializes people who might be considered unseen or overlooked in our society. As a mixed media artist, Ebony incorporates a wide variety of materials and objects to create multi-layered compositions. Her expansive use of color, texture, shape, and size draw our attention to her work and ultimately the people whom she aims to represent. After looking closely at the artwork, I wonder if you can identify any familiar objects. I wonder what memories they might bring to mind for you. Our next piece is by Richmond-based artist Roberto Jamora. Roberto actually grew up in Virginia Beach, and now, in addition to making art, teaches at Virginia Commonwealth University. This artwork is titled First Born, Homage to Jack Whitten. Jack Whitten was an artist of the late 20th century that is renowned for his abstract mosaics that represent the essence of African American figures. Roberto employs the same philosophy, using colors to symbolize special memories. He paints these colors and then layers beeswax on top. He then carves away a very distinct line to reveal colors underneath. I wonder what each color represents and how he chose the shape of this line. I wonder what colors and shapes you might use to capture a memory. The last piece of artwork we're going to look at is a piece by Hampton Boyer called My Point is to Spit on a Monopoeia, Slow and Steady, Cold like Froyo in a Beamer. In this artwork, Hampton remembers a time when the artist and his friends spent a day together making music. The colorful rug in the middle represents all the sounds and ideas they were making together. Even though Hampton's piece has a lot going on, we can see how he uses balance to keep our eyes moving around the artwork. Hampton also makes his own patterns and shapes for his artwork. He paints and draws them on separate pieces of paper, cuts them out, and then layers them on top of one another. Even though we weren't there when this event happened, I wonder if you can imagine how it felt because of the colors, shapes, and composition Hampton created. Now we are going to move on to our art making activity. Something many of the artworks in our exhibitions have in common right now is the use of collage. Collage is an artistic medium like painting or drawing that uses lots of different kinds of materials instead of just one. Today, we're gonna to make our own collages at home using words and pictures and other materials to express a personal memory we have of a special person in our lives. We've created a printable instruction sheet with these directions but I'm also going to talk them through with you step by step. So to begin, some materials that you'll definitely need are plain paper, and we recommend eight and a half by 11, any kind of writing utensil, markers, crayons, pencils, pens, a glue stick or tape, scissors, 
and pieces of decorative or colored paper. You can also use photos or newspaper. Some other things I found in my house to use in my collage are tissue paper or wrapping paper, cellophane, aluminum foil, yarn, string or ribbon, toothpicks or popsicle sticks, leaves or flowers, bubble wrap or styrofoam, glitter and sequins, buttons or fabric. Let's begin our activity by thinking back to some of the artwork we looked at. Many of the artists in these exhibitions are thinking about people who are important or special to them. Can you think of someone who's important or special in your life? Maybe it's a family member, a friend, a teacher, a public figure, or a person in history. Feel free to pause the video until you've decided. When you think about this person or character, is there a place that comes to mind? Do they live at your house? Do they live in another state or country? Do you see them at school or work? Where did you first meet them or learn about them? If you can, write down the name of this place on your piece of paper. Now, think about if there's a thing or an object you associate with this person. Do they like books or music? Do you make things together in the kitchen? Is there a game you play together? Or is there something in particular that they wear often or carry with them? Write down the name of this object on your piece of paper. Lastly, think about what you know about this person. Is there a color that you think of when they come to mind? Maybe it's a color they like or a color that you associate with them. If you can, write down the name of this color on your paper. Next, use the same piece of paper to illustrate your words with collage materials or drawings. Don't be afraid to layer things on top of each other like we saw in Ebony Patterson's piece. Try to find or make textures, shapes, patterns, and colors that remind you of this person, like the way Roberto Jamora's artwork does. And then think about the balance of your composition and the way that Hampton Boyer draws our eye to one central place in the artwork by selecting where to place all the different elements. This is my completed piece. So you can see the three words that I chose were Florida, movies, and pink. And you can see how I added different things to each word that explains my connection to them. When you're finished with your artwork, find someone to share it with. Tell them about your person and why you chose the words and the objects that you did. You can also share photos on social media by tagging us at Virginia Mocha or hashtag Virginia Mocha at home. Thanks for joining us.